Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to show you how you can transform your um, your nice warm autumn outdoor images into a cool snowy winter scene. Okay, so let's get started with the uh, LSP Ice Kiss Winter Collection. Um, to start with, you download the actions and you come up here, window actions, and your action palette will open. It may look like this, which is button mode, or it may look normal, in normal mode like this. Either way, um, it's completely fine, it's completely normal. In normal mode, you have to click, uh, select the action you want and hit play. In button mode, you get all of the color-coded actions, which I prefer. So I'm going to come down here to button mode. And here is the LSP Ice Kiss Winter Collection. Now this has got a um, quite a blurred background here on this image, a nice shallow depth of field. So I'm going to go and start with and winter to scene, LSP blurred background, add winter. Um, this is just going to play. You'll find it plays a bit faster for you. It's playing quite slowly for me because I've got my video recording software on. But even still, it did go quite quick. Okay, so I'm going to select a white brush on a low flow, um, let's say 20% flow, 100% opacity. I, I much prefer using um, flow over opacity, but if you want to use a low opacity instead, that's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to start painting the winter onto all of these green kind of background colours here. And you will see it's adding kind of a very frosty snow effect to your image. Turn to black and paint this off your subject because you don't really want this on your subject. And don't worry if the masking's a bit sloppy because I'm going to show you how to tidy that up in just a second. So I'm just using a white to add this kind of wintry effect all around the edges. Back onto your actions panel and come down here, um, LSP winter tones, paint on with white. So once you've done your blurred background or your sharp focus tones, you will play this one and you can use this to kind of tidy up the edges um, around your subject. Get rid of any last bits of green or autumn-y kind of um, oranges in your image. So you're just going to kind of use this to desaturate and paint this kind of very nice wintry cold fill onto your image here. I'm going to use it on her scarf a little bit as well because that did look quite bright. Okay, so now we've got our kind of our winter tone started. I'm going to go on the um, adjust winter scene. And what should we use? Winter skin tone. Let's pop a very, very low amount of this on. I'm going to turn my brush down even more for this one um, onto a 10% because her skin isn't particularly warm. If your subject's got very kind of orangey, um, autumn-y kind of toned skin, then you're going to probably want to go on a little bit heavier. If your subject's skin tone is quite cool anyway, then you don't need to worry about this one. Okay, now let's add some snow. We could add a little bit of misty fog paint, actually. I'll show you that one. Really, the great thing about this is they're all um, on their own separate layers. So you can kind of add them in, and then if you don't like them, you can just turn the layer off. Let's just pop a little bit of mist in around this image here. Okay, so if I turn this on and off, you can see we've got a nice little misty layer going on here. Um, if you wanted to paint some of the sharper focus areas, you can... So you hit um, LSP sharp focus areas, add winter, and that will play out and you do the same thing. You paint it on, um, you know, with a white brush and that will really add kind of a layer of snow over these sharper areas. So once you're happy with that, you can come down here and add some snow. Now these may take a little while to play. Um, let's put a soft fine snow on to start with. Um, just because they individually, you know, it will add snowflakes to your image, which of course will take a little while, but still way quicker than you're doing it yourself. And once that's played, you can simply paint on the snow, on your image, wherever you want it to be. And I'm going to take it off her face again by going onto a black brush here. So you can brush the snow off anywhere you really don't want it to show by using a black brush. So white means show, black means invisible. Okay, so let's add some large foreground snow. What you can also do is um, these layer masks will be black, which means invisible, so you paint them on with a white brush. Um, but what you can do, you can actually invert the layer mask by hitting Control or Command I and inverting it, or you can just get your, um, your paint bucket and make it white, either way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush some of the snow off her face and from anywhere else I don't want it to show in this image. You can also take the opacity down because obviously, you know, these snows are very generic and then it's up to you to kind of change them so they suit your own individual image. Okay, and let's add what we've got. Fine so soft. Let's go for a medium snow 
just to kind of finish this one off. And that's just playing out now. I'm going to get a white brush and I'm going to paint some of the median snow on where I want it to show. I'm going to pop the flow up a little bit here just so I can paint it on a little bit quicker for you. So this is kind of a medium snow coverage which might seem like quite a lot but again you can get your black brush and paint it off anywhere you don't want that to show. take some of this large snow off her hat. What I may do is run a blue winter wash and turn this down right down to low and this will add just kind of a cool wash over your image to make it even more wintry looking. So there we go I'm going to take these layers and pop them in a group so I can show you the before and after. So that is before a nice warm autumn image and that is after a nice winter snowy image in just a few minutes. So let's go on to image two. Oh, wait, but there are images have I got here? Okay, so this one, as you can see, our first image was um, very blurred, very nice um, bokeh in the background there. Our second image is all in focus. So I'm going to show you a different way to do this when you've got, um, you know, a lot of us do like shooting these very shallow depths of field images, but if you don't, if you haven't, um, and your image is a lot sharper and more in focus like this one, I'll show you what you can do there. Okay, so that was if you have an image, um, a nice close-up image with a lovely blurred background. What if you have an image where your subject's a bit further away and everything is a little bit more in focused? So open your actions up and instead of the blurred background add winter, we're going to go to the sharp focused areas add winter. Simply get your white brush um, on a low flow again or a low opacity, you know, whatever suits you and start to paint this on and this is going to add kind of a layer of snow to the trees. So remember this is more for the background um, and again don't worry too much about getting this um, on your subjects you can leave the masking a little bit sloppy around the edges that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to add a little bit of this under the trees I'm going to kind of avoid these shadows area add it, bleh, can't even talk shadow areas by just clicking very lightly over them I don't want this um, too snowy but I've put this on quite heavily on the trees. So there is add snow to trees, buildings and background. Um, that's the sharp focus areas. And now I'm going to play the paint um, winter tones. And this is so I can clean up the masking around the subjects. Again with a white brush, I'm just simply washing this on to get rid of those last remaining bits of green um, and the brownies kind of sunny tones there. Okay. And let's play what else do we want? Some snow. So let's play a heavy snow for this one because I think that suits this image quite nicely, having a heavy snow. And I'm just going to paint this on all over the scene. Uh, the brush was kind of a low flow. I'm going to turn that one up so I can put a nice heavy layer of snow on there. And again, you can use a, um, a black brush to kind of take this off your subjects if you wanted to. Let's play some large foreground snow. So that's just playing out now and I'm going to get a white brush and I'm just going to kind of bring this in around the foreground so it shows on these darker areas of tree as well. Um, because obviously there is um, some depth into this image so you'd want to put your kind of your large foreground snow in the foreground. So I'm just loosely kind of rubbing that in I'm going to get a black brush and I'm going to take off any of these I don't really want in the scene. I'm also going to take the opacity down a little bit just so it's not quite so dominating in the scene there. And to finish off I'm going to play the uh, blue winter wash which will put kind of a quite nice dark blue wash over this image and you can play with the opacity here um, until it kind of suits the style and feel of your image. Okay, so let's put those into a group and see our before and after in two minutes. Okay, let's go on to another image. What have I got here? This one, as you can see, this is a lovely blurred background. So I'm going to go on to the blurred background, add winter. So this is just playing now. Um, yep. And I'm going to get a white brush. 
on a low flow or a low opacity again whichever suits you best and I'm just going to start bringing this in over the blurred background here over all these kind of autumn areas now obviously this little girl um, or oh sorry the mum she has uh, some autumn leaves in her hand so you need to kind of really think about the images you want to make winter um, you know because we're putting kind of a layer of snow over these leaves you wouldn't really you know that doesn't really scream winter does it a handful of autumn leaves I'm using this just to kind of show you, but I would really think about your images. Are your are your clients in the images? Um, are they wearing winter clothing? You know, they're not wearing summer dresses or anything like that. Um, are the leaves coming off the trees nicely? Are the trees bare? You know, will it will it lend itself to a winter scene? So I'm just playing the LSP winter tones now um, over here, just to kind of take out these last remaining greens. I don't want to take them out completely. I'm just kind of lowering anything down that screams autumn and I'm going to play the misty fog paint I'm going to bring this around as well to give us kind of a snowy foggy feel to our image so to do that I'm just on the low flow brush and I'm just bringing a little bit of fog paint in around this image just to make it look really kind of nice and wintry so let's play the fine snow sharp so this will give um, a very very fine dusting of snow almost like a snow texture over your image that you can then brush on which I think actually lends itself quite nicely to this image it's quite nice in relation to the subjects if you find the snow is the wrong size you can hit Control or command T on the layer and you can resize it as necessary you can kind of resize it out of your image or resize it smaller so do bear that in mind um, because obviously it all depends on your image size um, Photoshop's intelligent actions are intelligent but they're not that good so if your image is, you know, not a standard size or your subjects are um, very, very small or very, very large in your image, you may want to resize your snow layers. Um, let's pop a heavy snow on just around them here a little bit more. Okay. And I'm just going to take the black brush and take this off their face. And I'm going to play Winter Skin Tone, just to cool their skin down just a little bit, although they do look quite cool really already, which is quite good. And again, with a white brush, this will just take care of some of those oranges um, in the skin tone. You could also play a Blue Winter Wash, um, which is just playing now. I'm going to put that on about there. Okay, so let's put those in a group and see our before and after. So that is the LSP um, Ice Kiss Winter Collection that's available on the website www.lsp-actions.com um, It's an instant download and you can use it exactly as I've told you in the video and you should be able to add all of these things to your images.